Alright guys, so it is the day before we leave for Mexico and somebody decided that right before his appointment to be dropped off at the border, he was gonna jump in the lake. So Chelsea was just out, she bought him new leashes, new collars, wipes to make them not smell like pool, and apparently that's not gonna happen because it wasn't in Cooper's run. <laughs> It wasn't in Cooper's plans for the day. He was gonna, he was gonna swim in the lake. So uh, we now have to really kind of hurry up and drive them off because they have an appointment of when they're supposed to be dropped off. Cooper, come here. Let's come get dry, good boy. He's just always so happy. Anyway, not starting off to uh, according to plan, but hopefully things get better. This is Grandma Coopy. Doesn't he look like a grandma with her hood up? Or like little red riding hood or something? You're a good boy. I'm gonna miss you. Mostly dry. Are you getting a new collar? Sit. How exciting. I swear he thinks everything Say. is a treat. Say. He is so intent about getting this flea collar right now. I'm gonna miss you guys. I hope you guys have a really fun time with all the other dogs that you get to play with and all the treats you get and all the playtime and the two walks a day in your own little villa. Okay, Coda, I won't miss you either. Coda. Get in the truck. Come on, go for a ride. Go for a ride. Da dun, da dun, <laughs> da dun, da dun, da dun, da dun, da dun. And he made it. Cooper, get in the truck. Boom. His mom sitting in the back. Get back. You're all wet. <sighs> Woo! -hoo! Family road trip. All right, boys. Here we are at the Dog Mahal. Luxury five-star pet hotel. Koopy, is that gonna be a new friend? He is so excited. This place actually looks pretty nice. They have like these wall paintings and stuff. Pretty cool, I'm happy. I want my boy to be in good hands. It's kind of weird, we were talking on the way over here. Chelsea was saying how she was nervous, how we're like taking two of the most important things in our lives and like totally trusting somebody else to watch them for a week. And that's like, that really puts it in perspective. I've, I don't know, I'm hoping it's okay. We wanted to go for the best. We paid a little bit extra for the best. They have like a little little like two person condo. I think it might have two rooms in it and uh, they're gonna be all right. So boys, I'm gonna miss you. Let's go inside. Well, they've been dropped off. It was really, really sad. Um, it was super clean in there though and it, it seems like most of the dogs were happy so hopefully they're in good hands. They said that all of the people that work here had dogs at home and stuff, they just love dogs. Uh, apparently Coda had an eventful first five minutes. They took them back and they took them potty before they showed them their room and apparently Coda peed on another dog. <laughs> Does not surprise me in the least. Anyway. We're gonna see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. 4 a.m. is the wake up time to make it to the airport. It is way too early, but we went to Qdoba. Look at this big old burrito. Look at this little baby burrito that she got next to my big old thing. That's a carnivore burrito. My mom got a little baby one too. This is gonna be good. I just feel bad for you sitting on the flight next to me for the rest of this morning. I'm used to it. everybody in the middle of the parking lot, the tarmac, and uh, pick us up by bus itself. So do you guys remember the baggage claim system in Costa Rica? It was all automated with the sensors and stuff. This one, not quite the same. This is absolutely crazy. I just talked to somebody, and although our flight was on one of the carousels, like the number was up on the TV, um, they said that it could be on any carousel. So we're just walking back and forth between like 10 carousels looking for bags. 
Hopefully it's not stolen or anything. Holy cow. All right guys, so we're on the bus that's taking us to the hotel. She got randomly selected to have her stuff like gone through and stuff like that. And I was in the corner like making fun of her, zooming in on her and stuff. And uh, then customs came over and I kind of got into it with them because I'm like, I don't know why I can't record. Like they were just saying delete it. I ended up having to delete it. I'm actually really sad about it because it was funny because she was... They spilled my clothes everywhere. Mm -hmm. She was not a happy camper. You do look pretty intimidating to me. Like I wouldn't trust you. Anyway. Off to the hotel. Thank you. Two of luggage is right. Thank you so much. It was good. Fantastic. Thank you. Cheers, boys. We are here in the room. And I wanted to give you guys a quick tour. It's not quite as crazy as the like big penthouse thing we had in Coast Creek, if you guys remember that video. But um, anyway, so this is the bathroom. We have a big tub, no wall or anything. It's all kind of open, which is kind of cool but kind of weird. This is the shower here, as well as the toilet. And it's weird because I'm tall enough, this is like the non-see-through glass, and then up here is see-through. So I'm tall enough that when I'm in here, going to the bathroom, you can totally just like look me in the eye and, and tell me you love me, so that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, over here, we have a closet, which we've hung some stuff up. We have our safe coffee maker little fridge. This is an all-inclusive resort, so everything is free. Like, usually hotel room fridges, I feel like are off limits because the stuff's like five times the normal price, but all of that's free. We have two beds, and then out here we have our balcony, which has another little jacuzzi tub, a table, and check this out. This is the main grounds of the hotel. So over here we have some of the restaurants and stuff off in the, the trees. Then we have a bunch of pools. We have our first pool here, and then there's one, two, three pools that are all connected right there. And then there's the ocean with one of the nicest beaches in the area. So I'm pretty excited. Hopefully you guys are too. We're on the phone. Chelsea's actually on the phone with Verizon right now. I'm supposed to have like cellular and data, like internet and stuff available. And it's not. So we're trying to figure that out. And then as soon as we get that figured out, we are going to go get some food and head out to the beach. We'll see you guys there. guys it is uh, I guess day two kind of day one though so we got in late yesterday probably like 5 p.m. so this is actually our first whole day here in Mexico and I'm pretty excited you guys can see it's pretty chill right now I think it's like um, 9 a.m. and uh, there's not too many people up they've got like the grounds crew out there kind of cleaning stuff up getting ready for the day and uh, there's a lot of cool stuff going on today. They have activities like all day long. This is the excursion book and we were looking at a couple of these things. So there's a dolphin and sea lion adventure which looks pretty cool. We were kind of thinking of one of those. This one also looks really cool. So I really like adventure type stuff but I also like stuff where you can kind of like get to know like the culture and the history of Mexico. So this is kind of like a, you go to like a tequila farm and learn about like all like why Mexico is like so you know kind of like in love with tequila and stuff like that so I thought that'd be kind of cool um, they also have a couple other cultural ones but uh, I mean who doesn't like tequila right so uh, we're gonna do that and then we were kind of trying to decide I really want to do this but my mom says I shouldn't do this unless I'm in the US so all the health care and everything is is good to go because uh, I think people get hurt on those quite a bit we were thinking about potentially this one. This is like the longest, fastest zip line in all of Mexico. They also have some repelling and stuff. That looks pretty cool. I don't know though. My mom wouldn't do that one. I don't really want to you know, do stuff she wouldn't want to do. Another one I really want to do is this one right here. How cool does this look? So this is like an island that it's got like this natural land bridge and there's a bunch of cool snorkeling and reef and stuff down here and then you can paddle board around through the rocks and stuff. I, I feel like that would be pretty cool. So uh, we're going to figure out which ones we're going to do. Then actually, I think I'm going to get a haircut today. So you guys know, I've been wanting to get a haircut. My hair is super crazy. And uh, I'm going to try getting a haircut in Mexico. The spa here actually has uh, a salon. So we're going to see what they can do with it. And uh, let's go to breakfast. So I can't even make this up right now. I was out here just hanging out. Editing a video, kind of enjoying the view. It's like the middle of the day, but I'm inside. I want to edit videos for you guys, make sure I'm still getting videos up. That's the most important thing in the world to me. And we get a knock on the door, and this guy comes out and delivers a Merlot. 
I'm not really that much of a wine drinker. And champagne, like iced, out of nowhere complimentary. And I, like, I don't know what this is from or why this is. By literally, like, middle of the day in Mexico while editing a video got interrupted for a champagne delivery. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever had happen to me. But uh, I'm going to take a little break, I guess, and uh, could try to open this thing up. Babe, come pop the champagne with me. Do you know how? We'll find out. <laughs> Have you ever done it before? No. I'm going to try to act like a pro and act like I've done it a lot. I really haven't, though. So we're going to see. I'm just going to... Pop it off the balcony. Actually, I don't want to hit people down there, so maybe we should just pop it inwards. No, okay, the goal is to hit that tree. The, oh, you're popping it off the balcony? All right. I don't know if I'm going to pop it. Let's see it. Just stand back so they don't see us. How do you do it? Undo this. You, you take the wrapping stuff off, this yeah. gold wrapping off. Uh -huh. So do that. It's the first step. Did I get it down far enough? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now you take this thing and you fold it out. Uh -oh. You see it? There. That little handle? Yeah. And you gotta start unhooking it. So like oh, oh, I just twist it. Yeah. Okay. Don't shake it. Okay. I think you take it all the way off, and then I think you shake it and you push the cork. I hope it hits you in the face. God, if it breaks my glasses. Like <laughs> <laughs> shake it harder, like you mean it. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Do we have to YouTube it? I'm not strong enough to, you're gonna have to push it. You're gonna have to switch me. Hurry, okay. I can see it falling. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I did it! You blew it. Oh my god. Our window's wet. Get a towel. <laughs> Awkward. They totally know it was us. <laughs> Look how much champagne, what a shame. Look how much we lost. Mission accomplished.